guys, welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to do a couple designs for a, a wedding. Uh, one is a cake topper, which was the first one you've seen. They're huge St. Louis Cardinals fans. So they basically wanted the Cardinals logo plus their name plus the year on there. And they're going to jam that down in the cake. And uh, it turned out really nice. It, I think that was like the fifth version of the design. It took forever to design this thing. Um, they wanted it out of wood. And uh, um, as you can see here, how nice it turned out. And then at the end, I was just going to clear coat it, and they decided they want a little stain color on it. So we did that farm, and, and then after we uh, see this picture here, we go to a design of uh, a wedding sign. All right, here's the wedding. All you need is love and champagne on 9421. So we pretty much uh, did a uh, two-bit carve on this one. We started out with an eighth-inch bit to bulk out all the big material. Um, and then we switched to a, uh, a one-sixteenth bit or possibly one-thirty-second. I don't remember which ones I used on this. And it, what it does is it goes around and connects all the letters where the eighth-inch was too big to cut. The, uh, I believe it was a 16th bit, goes in and uh, connects all the letters, makes everything look crisp and clean and fresh. And um, it really uh, makes, as you can see with the word love here, it makes it really look uh, good. And it connects all the letters because uh, when you use an eighth inch bit, if it's too big, it won't cut anything you know, that's uh, smaller than an eighth of an inch. So that's why you have to use a smaller bit to get into those spots. And it uh, turned out really nice. It's nice. Uh, the first pass is called the roughing pass, and the second pass is the detailed one. So we go from there into painting. So I'll pick it up here once we get into the painting. All right, now that i got a few seconds here, um, the next step is, is we're going to paint the sign. But before we paint the sign, once it's carved, we come back and spray it with clear coat. I do two to three coats of this. What it does is it totally seals up the sign. Um, if you don't do that on a sign, a lot of times when you go to paint like this, the, the paint bleeds into the wood and you can't get it sanded out very well. And you can see where it bleeds into the wood. But by sealing that with clear coat, it stops probably 90 to 95% of that. And um, so when you sand it, it'll make a nice crisp line because if I go in there and I try and paint these little lines without getting paints on the top of the board it's virtually impossible for one and for two it's not going to turn out very good and if you can look here there's some deep grooves that um, I have to get paint down into and um, there's no way I can do it without getting paint on the edges now I paint actually up on the board a little bit so when you sand that, you've got a real super, super crisp edge to where the, the paint comes up to the top of the board. It'll be super crisp, a very, very great, um, great, a very good looking line. Um, so once you get done painting it, uh, make sure it's good and dry because you don't want to get um, sanding dust down in them deep grooves, especially in this area here where I'm painting right now. Um, if you get uh, sanding dust in there and that paint's not dry down in there, you will not get that out. And you'll probably have to scrape it out and repaint it. So um, we're going to watch me finish painting the rest of this. And then the next uh, section will be uh, sanding. And um, just take your time with the sanding. Don't have to worry about rushing. Um, I usually go about uh, 120, 220 on there. Um, and do a couple passes. And as long as you take your time, Try not to fall into things. Just keep the sander flat on the surface. That way it won't dip into nothing and you'll get those clean, crisp lines. So enjoy the rest of the video. I uh, know it's been a while since I put out a video. Um, I appreciate it if you would subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Um, I haven't really gotten much comments on my videos here lately, so and it's been a while since I've lately done a video, so I can't really say that. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, miss talking to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, so watch the last few minutes of the video. And uh, until we meet again, I'll talk to you later. God bless. From the lair.
Peace. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. A little more sand in it, a little bit of touching up.